Hey Bruce, so today we're going over Freddie King's Hideaway, and this song is a shuffle, but we're doing it so we can help accompany ourselves and kind of figure out a better way to go about it and how it really works and where we can fill in the gaps. Um, so uh, we are in E, uh, E, E blues, E minor, E7, and uh, it starts out um, with a pickup, and that pickup is... And then we go back into the shuffle. And you start the shuffle on the up. It's not on the. It's on the. Because we come in with that riff. So those two melodies are very intertwined and very similar. And. Uh, they share a lot of the same notes. One is a call, the other it seems like a response. So the first one, we're only on the E and B string for this one. So we go hammer on to two, uh, B, B, C sharp, E, A, G sharp, <laughs> zero, 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 two, zero, four, and slide up to four from two. Stop there. Now you start it the same way, but there's more to it now. You're going to go back after that four, come back to two, pull off to zero, and go two on B, open E. So those two parts together. Now here's the roll. And that roll is 0, 2 on B and uh, hammer on to the 2 and then open E. And you can let that 2 ring over. It sounds really cool. You know, instead of... I don't even know how to do it. I really like the uh, ringing over of the overtone. So it's good to, it gives a lot of... Uh, fullness. So um, we do four of those rolls, and then we end on on the minor third, that third fret on our E string. Two, three, four, and then we're into A, the four. So both the E and the A end with that response, the same one. So that's every other melody so far. So remember that. So now we're back into E. Now this is a little cool little nuance. Um, and it's, it's playing an E7 or an E9, either one. Uh, and you're sliding to it from a half step above. So F9 to E9 or F7 to E7. And, and that's in the middle of that of that uh that one section right before the five so if we're an a response e so so we're so we're playing about four four of those shuffles on e and two of them are being taken up by and then we come back and we go Sound familiar? Because it's the first melody. Except we don't slide to four, we stay on two on E. Big pull off, we're going from four to zero on E. 
And now we go to a four rolls. And then right after that roll, right after that last on the fourth roll, we do a tr we do a quick. You'll probably only get one or two of those in for sixteenth notes. Uh, but the first and second, uh, the first and zero zero open G and first fret on G. So. And then right after that, right after that, we're going straight into um, a descending pentatonic riff that sends us into the turnaround, which which is a turnaround actually. And that descending riff, um, I'm going to tell you numbers uh, because uh, the notes are going to not stay in rhythm, so uh, it'll throw me off. So uh, three zero three zero, and it's starting from the high E. Three zero B three zero G three two zero down to D two zero one two, and then A zero one two, and you can get a B seven on that uh, too if you can. Oh, or you can skip that whole last uh, zero one two on uh, A and do what Bruce did, which is is move down and do that same thing we did with that E seven uh, from the F seven and do a C seven down to a B seven, and then we start right up again. So, um, so what we're gonna do because there there are other parts of this song. Um, but I think that this is the most crucial one to, to developing the ability to accompany ourselves and really stay in time um, with what we're doing when we're playing alone. Uh, so when we come uh, to, together with people, we can really play both parts. Uh, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to play this slow through a couple times, and we're going to see how it feels. Uh, and you can always rewind this video and play with it again, um, and uh, we'll discuss other parts in um, upcoming videos. One, two, I hope this helps you and for anyone else watching I hope this has helped you too thanks for watching and namaste